Hey everybody, it's Angie, and welcome to Hot and Flashy. Today, since I had mentioned it in a previous video, I'm going to show you the Clarins um, tinted sunblock. Let's get started with the Clarins UV Plus HP Multi Protection SPF 40 Anti Pollution UVA UVB Oil Free Day Screen High Protection Tint. And it says all that right there on this tiny sample that I that I got. All right, I am going to like to. Um, apply with my fingers. But, oh my goodness, it's very runny, very watery. Let me show you. You can see it dripping down my finger. So that's the consistency, very, very runny. So I'm just gonna warm it up a bit, do my usual thing, pat it around. This has a bit of a scent. You know, I personally don't like anything really scented, but it smells sort of like a cross between a sunblock and, I don't know, there's something kind of yucky smelling in it. <laughs> my gosh, why can't anything ever turn out to be my holy grail? So I rubbed in the globs that were hanging around. I do like to overlap the edge of my lips, especially where this is going to be my SPF for the day. Now, because this is, you know, you were going to cut out the step of using a separate SPF or a moisturizer with SPF using this. So you need to put on enough so that you have full coverage for SPF for the day. So you can't go lightly with this. You have to put it on. And I have to say, first impression, having it on for about three and a half minutes here, do not like. Um, you know, it kind of has a whitish, grayish um, cast. I don't really enjoy the smell. I'm not really loving the finish. It feels sticky still. I want to see if in a couple minutes it sets up, if it feels better. And then I'll put some setting powder over it and hopefully that will help. I had to take a lot of extra care to really blend it carefully around the edges of my nose and stuff. But again, you need to have put on enough that you're getting, you know, a full full coverage for the SPF. So um, let me just let it settle in and set up because really with sunblock you need to let it set up for 10 or 15 minutes before you go out in the sun and before it's ready. So let me do that and then I'll come back and we'll powder it up and see how it looks then. It's been about 10 minutes and um, you know what? I like it better now. <laughs> it's weird when it first goes on. I'm sh sure it's kind of like a lot of those um, Asian BB creams where you put them on and they go on kind of ghostly and weird and then they sort of magically change color and settle in and set. So now that this is set, it actually doesn't feel that sticky anymore. It has a nice finish and it looks much more natural now. And I feel like I might even wear this on its own with just a little bit of blush on top and don't even need the, um, the setting powder. So all in all, um, my first impression being that I wouldn't use this, now I feel like, huh, I might actually go out and buy this and use it. I think it would be great to use, um, you know, if you're going to the beach or if you know that you're going out for an extended period. I, I like it. So let's put some powder over the top and just see how it goes. I am going to use my Laura Geller Balance and Brighten. I really like the finish on this um, tinted uh, sunblock because it is not shiny at all. It's, um, it's not totally matte either. Uh, it just has kind of the just right kind of light reflectiveness that looks like uh, real skin. So, so this is great. So I'm just going to powder over the areas that I tend to get a little oily throughout the day to set it and then just, you know, spread it around a little bit just to set it all in. We'll add a little blush. I am using this Milani Baked Blush and this is in Dolce Pink and it has little pretty little gold flecks in it, which I like for summer. It's a very light pink. I would have to say, girls, we found us a winner. I really like this. I gotta say, from first impression over to now, what a difference. Let me wear it for the rest of the day and I'll come back later and um, let you know how it looked after, say, about six or seven hours. I have been wearing the Clarins for about nine or ten hours, depending. 
and it held up really well. I have not repowdered or done anything to touch it up during the day. I just like to see how it goes without having to touch it up. And I don't feel like I had too much um, oily breakthrough in my um, T-zone. And I feel like it hasn't completely worn off either. I feel like I still have the coverage of the redness in here. This did feel a little drying a couple hours ago. I felt like, you know, right in here I smiled and I, my skin felt really dry there. So, um, you know, as usual, I go back and check the ingredients during the day and just to see what it has in it. Um, and so alcohol is featured fairly highly on the list here. So it's not horrible that it's in there. It's just if you, like me, have combination skin. I have oily skin on my forehead, but because I use Retin-A products and that kind of thing, I have dry skin a lot of other places. So I don't really want something that's necessary, necessarily going to be more drying on me. But if you have all over oily skin, this could be a great tinted moisturizer kind of thing for you. It has a mineral-based sunblock, protects you from both UVA and UVB rays, uh, so it's full spectrum. And, um, you know, all in all, it definitely controlled the oil, although it was a tiny bit on the drying side. So it costs $38 for 1.7 ounces, so you get a lot more than in your standard one ounce um, package of foundation. I would feel comfortable recommending this product. I think it actually works wore well. It actually looked good. It didn't do anything bad for my wrinkles. It didn't accentuate my wrinkles. It didn't accentuate my pores. Um, so I'd say for, you know, say if there was a list of 10 things that I'm looking for, it probably had eight of them with only the um, strong fragrance that I didn't really love and um, that it's a little bit drying. Didn't love that. Otherwise, I think this is a pretty, pretty good product. Thanks for watching and take care. Bye-bye.